Hey guys, it's Louis here from Singularity Film and today we're going to try and achieve a professional interview lighting setup. Now, if you have been following us, you'll know we've already made a video like this, except this time we're gonna be doing it on a budget. As full-time content creators, we're fortunate enough to have access to professional equipment, but that's not to say that you can't achieve a similar look with less expensive equipment. So in today's video, we're gonna be recreating our interview lighting setup video where we used an Aperture 300D Mark II, a Pixar Pro 300 watt, and an F&V K8000. But we're going to be using this pair of Neewa NL 660 lights that you can buy right now on Amazon for just over 200 pounds. Of course, there are a number of differences between these budget lights and more expensive professional lights from size to output to light quality and so on, but we're fairly confident we can achieve a similar end result. Now we're going to follow exactly the same process as we did when setting up our lighting in our interview lighting setup video so if you haven't seen that one yet pause this video now and go and give that one a watch and then come back to see how we get on we'll begin with setting up our key light now what is obvious right from the get-go is that we need to soften this light it's very harsh unflattering and that's definitely not what we want for interview lighting now we haven't got the luxury of a huge soft box to diffuse and soften this light so we're going to bounce it off of the wall to achieve a nice soft light we want to make the light source as big as possible in relation to our subject so essentially the closer and bigger the light source the softer the light will be Now the key light is set up, we're going to get the fill light set up. Now in this case, we are using the second of our newer lights as our fill lights. So we're not going to up the brightness of the light as much, but we will still use some diffusion to keep the light nice and soft. In this instance, we'll be using a cheap soft box that came with the kit. Now that the key light and the fill light are both set up and our shot is looking nice, we still want to add another light or two into our setup for some more interest and depth. But because we are working on a budget, we're going to have to get creative. So to add more definition to the subject, we're going to add a hair light, but we'll be using a normal household lamp to do this. So we've literally just grabbed this lamp from home. Now we're not gonna have this set very bright at all, just bright enough to bring the subject out from the background. Finally, we're going to add a practical light into the background. Practical lights are probably the easiest lights to find and get set up as you can literally use anything you like. So as you can see, there's a huge difference between what our shot looked like before we had any light set up in comparison to our final setup. Although we can't exactly replicate the same quality of light we get from more expensive professional lighting, I think it's fair to say that this setup still does a pretty good job. It just goes to show that even if you are restricted by your budget when it comes to spending money on filmmaking equipment, you can still achieve professional looking results with some basic equipment and a little bit of creativity. As a final quick tip guys, we would always recommend using a colour checker, especially when using lower quality lights to ensure you can make any necessary colour grading adjustments when processing your footage. So there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on more content like this. Thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you next time.